All right, we are back. We still talking Nicki Minaj. There was a lot of coininess I saw from Nicki Minaj in this in this um, response to Sheether. Really, another one. All right. First and foremost, speaking of that, I thought it was corny that Nicki Minaj didn't respond to Sheether. She only labeled her response to another one as if Sheether didn't happen. Nicki, you cannot ignore Sheether. All right, one of the best disc records of all time. I told y'all. Remy was going to put herself in this position. I hate that she did that. When she made another one, it was a garbage record. I didn't like it. And I, I thought she put herself in a position for Nikki to be like, nah, this is why I'm not responding to you at all. I thought Nikki wouldn't even respond after that because she's like, you looking for attention. I thought another one was stupid. And I knew that would be an out for Nicki Minaj. And Nikki did respond. But what Nikki was able to do was use... Um, another one as an out to not have to address Sheeta. I thought that was corny from Nikki. You cannot ignore Sheeta. All right. Here's, here's Nikki's premise. She believes that Sheeta was nothing but lies, so she don't feel the need to address it. With that being said, I still think you gotta you gotta do something because Sheeta was nothing but bars. Like period. I'm gonna give Remy her credit there. Um, something else I thought that was corny. Why are Remy and Nikki exchanging surgery talk. Y'all both, we both know both y'all had plastic surgery. Period. Y'all both look completely different to the from the pictures. And I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. Black women get better with with age, wine, nutrition, all that. Like wine, whatever the hell I'm trying to say. But let's not act like the differences between y'all happens overnight or happens in 10 to 15 years. Both y'all have plastic surgery. It's it's obvious. Period. Why are y'all talking about that? So when Nikki's in the midst of her verse, when she's talking about um going under the what did she say? Let, let's let's look at it here real quick. I got before and after pictures of your surgery. Ra took you to her doc, but you don't look like Ra. Left the operating table, still look like not. That's corny. That's garbage. 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 You gonna talk about something that you had done? Gotcha. I don't like it. I thought it was trash. Um, I just thought it was trash, y'all. I really thought it was trash. Um, the response on IG was garbage as well. We'll pull that up and we'll talk about that. The res- Nikki responded um, on IG with a very long post, and I-, I think this is garbage as well. Why even take this there? Here's here's what Nikki Minaj said on her Instagram account. Young money to the death of me committing perjury. I got before and after pictures of your surgery. Stop surgery shaming before I post them. Hashtag fraud. And I like that Nikki addressed that she had surgery too. This records can't be lies. Grace, this records are facts. But here at Young Money, we don't do this records. We drop hit records and dish you on them. I got a bunch more on cock. Pause. The greats took three months to respond to this records queens don't moves on peasant time queens shut down paris paris excuse me then drop hits on queen time i love my fans y'all the real mvps been writing my own rap since i was 11 god knows next week i'll be i'll beat aretha for the most hot 100 hits on billboard by any woman in the world ever in the history of music stay in your bomb ass place Jealousy gets you nowhere. Love to all my bad bitches. Now I got a countdown of my own for Shanae. Um, you got 72 hours to drop a hit, and I'll give you half a million dollars if you can book any show or interview without mentioning the queen name. On another note, my album is nothing but ways. LOL, my babies, you're gonna get your complete li- your complete life. Love you guys so fucking much. Let's go. Hashtag no fries change. Uh, Reggie Martin, shout out to Lady Love for. Sp- for speaking facts they act like they didn't see her interview though lol all right all right here's the thing i thought that was corny i think the, po- the post pretty much entirely is corny the whole i'll give you a million dollars thing corny because we put numbers back into it too much i'm okay if nikki puts it in the bars about the numbers it's I- i'm cool if you give me a cool four or eight about the numbers i'm fine with that but that whole posting about how I want to see you do this and that, I'll give you some money, I'm on top of the, that didn't matter here. I thought that was very corny by Nikki. I just thought it was corny. I thought it was garbage. Didn't need to be done. I just, I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that a lot. 
Then, I, speaking of Instagram, Nikki also did something else that I thought was pretty damn corny. She posted the lyrics to her records, all of them, by the way. Um, her verses on the, the new records. To give her credit, she did the I Changed with Wayne one as well. She posted the, the lyrics and disabled the comments as if people were getting to her saying that her bars were weak so bad that she couldn't take it and she disabled the comments. That's garbage, y'all. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's garbage. All right? I don't like that. I can't respect that. I just thought that was weak. I just think you're you're showing us that you care what people think. If you're really confident in the bars, you say you're the queen, let people be able to comment. You disable the comments on your IG, Nikki. That means you know your bars are questionable, all right? No, they are not sheet the bars. We knew that. You ain't high enough from us. We know that's not sheet the period. We're trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, but don't go disabling your comments. That doesn't make any sense. It Because now it's like you... You want to believe in your mind that these bars are close to Sheetha, and that, that's just not the case. All right? Um, and, and those are the, some of the things I just thought was corny. Nevertheless, Nicki did a great job of getting some aura over her name. It looks like her album is coming by the end of March. Top Looks like maybe a, even an April release. It definitely will be here soon. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's about to announce a tour soon for the end of the year. So it looks like Nicki's prepping for that. Um... That's just my opinion on Nikki. I thought some corniness was there. Um, when we come back, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk Nikki and her ex-boyfriend Meek. We're gonna discuss if um, we thought what was a more disappointing response from a bar. Right, I'm gonna do this for the hip hop heads because y'all get on my damn nerves. When Nikki responded, because we both had to wait a few days for both of these tracks. What was a, a, a dis more disappointing response? I'll break it down. Nikki's response to Remy or Rem uh, Meek's response to Drake. All right? Stay tuned. Pay some bills. We'll be back. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, Make sure you hit me up at booking at his Again, that's booking at his 